Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Supper channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to replace the connections in the existing integration. So guys, before I start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. Now let's get, under, get started and understand why we really need to replace connections in the existing integration. So let's understand this in my integration instance. Okay, there are multiple use cases in which I need to replace the connections of the existing integration. Now let's understand we have created one FTP connection here. Okay, now let's suppose this connection is named like RBSTG underscore FTP. This is pointing to one instance of the FTP. Similarly, another developer has created the FTP adapter, which is pointing to the same instance and another developer has created another FTP connection pointing to the same instance. Now, let's say we have three connection of FTP adapter pointing to the same instance, same host. And we have three separate integration. One integration is using one FTP adapter. Another integration is using second adapter. Third integration is using third connection. What is the point of having three different connection pointing to the same instance? Integration allows you to integration allows you to utilize the connection. You can create a connection once and use it in the multiple integration. So what do you want? We want to remove all the connection. We will just keep single one and then use in multiple integration. So what will happen? Like if we want to change the connection, we need to change the host name. Right. Uh, in future, we don't need to update three different connection. What we need to do, we simply need to replace a single connection. Okay. So this is one of the use cases. And another use case might be uh, you are trying to migrate. Okay. From one environment to another. Okay. In one environment, you have FTP and FTP connection with name FTP underscore DAB. And when you're migrating, to a different target connection. There is a connection of FTP adapter with different name, FTP underscore prod. So what do you want? You want to reutilize the existing connection. Okay, instead of having the duplicate connection, you want to utilize the same, you want to point that out. So this is the second use case. There may be multiple use cases to use the existing connection. Let's understand. This is a use case. Now see how we can do this. The first thing, we can do the connection replacement when we when we import the integration by using import and configure but let's consider we already have the integration so if we have the integration okay now let's suppose this is my integration okay if you click on this action menu you will have this configure button so this configure button you will see here also okay when you do this so since this integration, which I have selected is part of this package. Okay. So it will show you all the integration. And now you see, we have two connections configured in this. Okay. So ERP learning connection, for example, I want to utilize another connection. So what you will do, you simply use this replace and it will give you all other ERP connections. Okay. And then you can choose one. So let's say this is my file server connection. And it's like a FTP. Let's say click here. Okay. I don't have any FTP. So this is not a good example, but let me just try another guy. Let's say this guy. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So this is, this is, uh, this is, this integration is using the another package. And here you see we have three different integration and let's look at this. Okay. So here we have this FTP connection B8. Now what I want, instead of using this, I want to replace with other click here and you see it is giving me the suggestion like we have two other FTP connections. Okay. So instead of using this, what I can do, I can simply use this guy. So now you will see this has been replaced and similarly ERP rest. Okay. If you want to utilize the another connection, existing connection, you can do this. So this now this integration will start using that replaced connection instead of the previous one okay let's say this guy 
okay right so this is how you can replace and now can save and then come back and now what you can do you can delete the connection which you don't want like ftp connection ba to be replaced it now you see it's pointing to zero now we can simply go ahead and then delete it because we don't need it so this is very simple to replace the connections so this is how you can do this in a two steps so guys that's all about this short video i hope you like this video if you like this video please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get track of the updates. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. You can also see my blog, https colon slash slash www.taxapper.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye.